Hello, I'm Daniel Palanchar, and I am a consultant specializing in using Smartsheet to help individuals and teams work and communicate more efficiently and collaboratively. This is a video demonstration of a Smartsheet system that I built. It's going to show you some of the features of Smartsheet that might be relevant for your business, your project, etc. So what you're looking at is a Smartsheet dashboard or portal. Uh, both terms are used. It's oftentimes used as a landing page for projects to provide um, information about task statuses, to direct people to relevant resources, um, kind of a one-stop shop for putting, giving people the information and the resources that they need. So at the top of this about me section, the images to either side of my face, these are live links that you can click and they will take you to various locations. This is a Google Drive link of my resume. And there's also a link to my LinkedIn profile on the web. These links in Smartsheet, they can go to URLs, as you've seen here. They can go to different Smartsheet items, such as other dashboards, reports, or sheets. And um, they can also be integrated with different apps, which can be quite useful. Moving down, here's a list of some of the clients I've worked with over the past couple of years. There's no links here. These are just images. Now moving down, this is the exciting part, the interactive examples. I'm gonna show you a couple of uh, neat things that Smartsheet can do and walk you through how this system might be used in the real world. So starting off with task management, or you could consider it work management, project management, et cetera. This is a very common use case for Smartsheet. I think it does very well. What we have here is a series of tools that are working together to organize the different work that individuals are doing to provide uh, leadership level views so that you can see the status of various tasks at a glance. And it also serves as a historical database. So the different items we have, we have a report which gives a uh, moderately detailed view. And this can be used by leadership to see basically what's going on by everyone. And it can also be used by the individual responsible uh, persons to keep track of their own work, provide status updates, um, and you can even communicate within um, within these tools with your team members. There's a this is a web form that allows you to add a new task. We'll go through that in just a minute. There is a little half donut chart here showing how many tasks are under each status, and then there's this tool here that shows for each person how many tasks they have assigned to them. So I'm gonna open up this report to get a full view. And in this view, you can see that there's the, his, the completed tasks are shown here. I've left them off the dashboard view for the sake of saving space. And this can be nice to have these here because it's basically a, a historical database. So if you ever wanna go back and see anything, uh, it'll be in the system. I'll collapse it for now, just for an easier view. Now you can, in this view, this is a, a smart sheet sheet you can edit it directly. So there's no status update here. So maybe draft completed, waiting on editor. You save it, now it's in there. We have here the, um, the update website. It is marked as being delayed. Approval, expected, okay. So perhaps this is no longer delayed. Let's put it back in progress. And we can move this. My... Let's move it up into the blue section. And you can see that I've there's some formulas in here that um, count the number of tasks under each individual bucket. So in progress just went to three, delayed went to one. And if you have many, many tasks, this can obviously be a little more useful when there's diminutive count. So now let's go back to our dashboard and refresh the page. We have to refresh the page for the changes to be reflected. And now we can see that the website update is now in progress and it's no longer in delayed here. And additionally, our chart here has updated. Now let's um, add a new task using this form. I'm gonna call it test demo. Let's give it a status of blue. And for now, I'm gonna leave the rest of the information blank. After you submit, you get a message up top saying that your information is now in the system. 
Once again, let's refresh. And we can see our new task has appeared on top. So we can go back in here. This is highlighted yellow because nobody's assigned. I will assign it to myself. Let's say this needs to be done at the end of the month. And getting started soon. Add some notes. And I will drag this into the in progress. And now I will save. And this should be reflected, obviously, in the various tools we have on our dashboard. So here we go. Test demo is under in progress. The task per person, I have now two. So moving down, this next example is a database search feature. Um, this is a actually a reproduction of a rather customized smart sheet solution I made for another client where they had a, a group of basically uh, volunteer workers with different skill sets across certain areas in healthcare. And they wanted a way to quickly find the person that was best qualified to do a particular job based on their skill set. So I'm going to open up the full database. And what we have here, there's 201 entries. And there are these five fictitious work areas, social media marketing, graphic design, project management, web developing, development and human resources. And these symbols here are basically a indication of their skill level, their competency in each area. So the way that this system works is you can select the skill level that you need. And then once you in real time, you'll get various matches based on if somebody meets or exceeds the minimum skill set required for every um, for every work area. So I've put these all to empty, which means basically any any skill level, it doesn't matter at all. So everyone lights up as being a potential match. And we have some metrics up top. So this is showing that there's 200 matches. It's 200, not 201, because it doesn't ping the no data. And this percent match is very close to 100, as it should be. And then um, this blue row here, this shows you the number of matches for a given column. So let's say you have a job that requires some real high level expertise in social media marketing, and maybe they need some, you know, moderate experience in graphic design. And the and maybe they need uh, some moderate experience in web development as well. So now we can modify these symbols. And what we get is there are out of these 201 people, there are 11 that are matching all of these minimum criteria. And then if we scroll down, you can see the matches are automatically highlighted. And that's based on conditional formatting. And so you can obviously you can modify these, however you need them to be, and you'll get your data in real time. And you don't need to look through all sorts of stuff make it a lot faster and then of course when we go back to our database this report is now updated and we can see that the minimum required skill set here is only matched by these three people here and our search results also gives us some uh, information here three matches 1.4 percent of all entries and then this chart here is showing on an individual skill level the percentage of people that are matching. So our um, graphic design is the two bars here. So 50% of our people match that skill level. Human resources, we're looking for three out of four bars, 24%, uh, etc. So that's a really cool system. The back end is uh, kind of complex, but it's as you can see, it's really simple to use on the front end um, system. So those are the two examples that I've built for you guys to see and play with if you'd like. You can learn more about Smartsheet um, from their website. They have a plethora of examples from different companies that 
have used those systems. So if you have a hankering for some more examples, check that out. And then for a little bit more information, you can watch um, either of these videos. The first one here on the left, it's an introduction to Smartsheet. It will, it's from the Smartsheet company. So it'll take you through some more uh, generic examples. And then I've also put in a video of Smartsheet being used by the Spartan Race company because I think Spartan races are super cool. And I've actually, I've ran a couple of them myself. They are very fun. So that's pretty cool. And lastly, if you'd like to get in touch, feel free to email me, danpalanchar at gmail.com or uh, send me a LinkedIn message, a connection, and we can talk about how Smartsheet might be useful for your needs. So thanks a lot for watching. Hope to hear from you.